Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode. Uh, so the clear story this week that's been grabbing the headlines has been the demise of Silicon Valley Bank, the bank which specialised in lending to tech startup companies, but since failed and been shut down by the US regulators. So, uh, Guillaume, what's been happening with that bank? What caused it to fail? So, yes, Tom, last Thursday, 9th of March, in a single day, Investors and depositors uh, into uh, Silicon Valley Bank tried to pull 42 billion uh, in one day. So that's that's a classic bank run where clients all want to get the money back all at once, and the bank simply doesn't have the money. So when the money runs out, the bank regulator steps in, and the game is effectively over for SVB. So why did the the clients want their money back then? What prompted them? What prompted that run? Well, it looks like, as you said, uh, potentially SVB had too many clients in the tech sector, and that's a sector that's been slowing over the last few months, and, and so companies have got more cash needs to run their operations. And it also it transpires that those bank deposits were actually tied up in bonds that had lost value uh, over the last few months because of you know that important rise in interest rate that we've seen. Um, and that's something that could have been avoided. Uh, so it's quite specific to to uh, a failure of risk management within SVB. Uh, but then, you know, when rumors start to circulate that the bank may not be able to pay uh, their investors back, you know, it really adds fuel to the fire. So whenever people hear about banks failing, it sends a bit of a shiver down people's spines and it's like an echo of the 2008 global financial crisis. And even today, in recording, we're recording this on the 15th of March, and uh, other banks, Credit Suisse, they, they've had a, a hit to their share price. So the question really is, do you, do you think what we're seeing here is indicative of a wider problem, some sort of banking crisis, or is it more contained and, and it isn't something we should be too concerned about? The market's certainly concerned about contagion here. Uh, our best case is that things will calm down. Uh, you know, it's hard to compare that to 2008. It's not a, a, a widespread credit issue. Uh, where you didn't know which bank was safe uh, back then. Uh, we've seen very quick actions by regulator, you know, that should help sort of stabilize things. But yes, yeah, still, it's a good reminder that, you know, some banks can be irresponsibly run and that higher interest rates hurt and will always expose those areas of weakness and vulnerability in the economy. And given that interest rates are starting to expose those weaknesses and vulnerabilities, as you put it, do you think that means that central bankers then will start to uh, take stock and think, actually, maybe we don't want to increase interest rates too much because it's going to be harmful for the, the parts of the market and the economy? Or do you think they're sort of hell-bent and they'll just keep on increasing interest rates because they've got a big inflation problem that they need to tackle? Yeah, it, it really puts them in a tough place here. They're definitely going to have to be more cautious uh, about interest rates because, you know, ultimately issues in the banking sectors can have an impact on, on businesses and jobs across the economy. But, you know, inflation is still very high uh, and they need to stay out of that as their primary objective. Uh, so it's going to be come down to what sort of evidence we're going to get in the coming weeks of, you know, further, you know, banks instability and the economic impact of that. Um. Guillaume, that's all for today, but uh, thanks so much for your time. I said that every week, but I think I mean it even more this week because I know that the markets are particularly volatile, so you've been very busy. Uh, and of course, thanks for you for watching and for everyone else on the line, and we'll be back again next week with another episode.